Hello, welcome to another video walkthrough for Cyberpunk 2077. Um, as you have watched possibly some of my previous ones, I played this game when it first came out quite a lot and enjoyed it immensely and the graphics has gotten really awesome. Um, my character is fairly strong. I have some very good weapons that I've built up as well as my cyberware there we go cyberware ha is pretty high as well um, i have sort of stopped playing this game on a regular basis but i went back to it just a few weeks ago and ran around for a bit and had fun but again this is a combination of a first player shooter but player shooter but also a bunch of rpg as you really do need to build up your cyberware in order to be effective having done that I picked up some nice weapons I was going to go ahead and swap this one out real quick there is my shotgun not my shotgun I want to see my sniper rifle can't use that one yet I don't think this really is that good of a one There's my sniper rifle. Go ahead and arm that. So what I'm going to be doing here fairly... That is a huge looking weapon. What I'm going to be doing here fairly shortly from a video standpoint as well as a gameplay play standpoint is continue my character's quest. And that is to go ahead and do the end game. I've done the end game maybe three times different ways. I'm going to try to take another one of the shorter versions and take you along with me. But in place of that, what I have decided to do is to go ahead and show you some of the weapons and the gameplay. If you've seen one of my previous videos, you saw that... All that my favorite vehicle is a motorcycle that I acquired. I think I did that. There we go. Oops, sorry about that. Anyway, one of the things when you're driving a car is that it does have the radio, so you can have a soundtrack going along with you and switch it as we saw. One of the negatives of the car is that you really can't drive through traffic, you have to drive with traffic. They also can get going pretty fast. As you can see, when they're in your way, you sort of have a harder time passing them. The collision's a little bit higher. One of the enhancements they've done in this game since its early release was a little bit better control of the vehicle for the NPCs for an NPC vehicle. So what we're going to do is head out to one of the police actions, which is usually where there's an assault going on. And, whoops, sorry about that, people. Um, and show you some of my different weapons at the different assaults to see how the battles work. I really do not like driving cars around this place, but that's just me. Our first battle that we're going to get to here sooner or later is going to use my katana slow over steering next i don't drive these a lot i don't even know which one i'm driving right now i think this is one i just recently bought just for the fun of it but anyway we'll be using a katana and take them all over the katana and then we'll go through some of our other weapons including our cybernetics that's also a fun way to battle you know what, let's just get out of our completely well. We've got one more turn. Oh, 
Alright, and also show you how to take care of these and solve some progress. We're out of the car. I don't know what car this is. Well, that's a pretty good looking car, actually, if you think about it. But anyway, so over here, let's go ahead and make sure that we see that there's a Not sure who all these guys are. Go ahead and choose our katana and we will take them out. Head on. Hey guys. What? Someone else is around here. Grabbing a shotgun. You can take me on, huh? Oh, don't run away. Who wants this is again? Good stuff, there we go. So this is another just simply an assault in progress. Our job is to get rid of the uh, criminals. Or as it says, neutralize the perps and secure the evidence. We also get to pick up a whole bunch of junk along the way. Always good to scavenge. I usually look around for... Ammo. extra weapons that we can sell. That being said, that's enough scavenging for now. I'll leave the rest of the scavenging. There we go. Weapons. You can scavenge weapons. You can break them down into components. You can go ahead and sell them in different places. Drop boxes. Most of these I will probably break down for components. So I can do some upgrades if I need to. And we pick up a shard. The information later, but right now it's saying over here somewhere, out of there, um, somewhere around here happens to be the evidence. We have to find the evidence. It's usually on a body somewhere. Those are some shoes. There's a weapon. That's probably the evidence right there. There's the evidence. But once have we once we get the evidence, then we've finished this police action that they ask us to come clean up, get some points for it, and you get to see how we fight. So that's Cyberpunk 2077 taking care of a simple crime and cleaning up the perps and getting some additional value but I also want to show you the katana stay tuned for my next video we're going to go after some more of the bad guys with a different weapon also take a different vehicle to get there hope you watch this one go ahead and subscribe and wait for the next one to come out which shouldn't be too long from now